Ladies, here are three things that stop women all the time when it comes to dating, online dating, and calling in your divine masculine husband, bonus dad, and it even stops your relationship from going to that next level. And I'm going to share with you the insider secrets that men don't want me to share. It's really going to help open up some doors for you. Get a pen and paper, ladies. And for those lovely ladies that are new here, what's up? I'm Natasha. And I'm Brian. I was a former single mom with four kids, went through a whole bunch of trauma and loss. If you're interested in learning more about dating and relationships and feeling good in your body again, I'm talking your hormones, your nervous system, all of that. Click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos and content. Okay, so number one thing that I hear from every lady is they feel like there's not enough men. They're asking me, how did I meet my husband? online and we were in different countries honey what do you think about that and then i'll tell you what i think well so many men out here that's looking to get into relationships looking to get married professionals entrepreneurs it's really about being in the right place sometimes it's about your proximity where you're at you have to be around where they're going and just really being open to not only how they look but to getting to know different men so many of my guy friends right business owners entrepreneurs just all different type of professions are looking for uh, relationships, are looking to get married. So it's plenty of men out here. It's just you actually just being ready and having your eyes open, not only for what, you're, what you think you're looking for, but just open to all different types of options and opportunities. And I talk to these guys. They're getting their finances in order. They're planning for families. They're putting money to the side into funds, trust funds. Mm -hmm. They're preparing themselves for families. So they're out here waiting provider men looking to get married. And the thing is, ladies, they're not obvious. That's the thing you need to catch. And this is what I teach the girls in our dating program is the provider type men are the least obvious. The ones that are loud on social media, that are taking selfies on dating apps, those typically are not the provider type men. <laughs> They're the ones, the provider, like the true yes. provider type men are the ones that are a lot more yes. simple because yes. they're busy in the background, mm -hmm. building businesses, taking care of stuff. They're not all into how they look. I mean, maybe yes. a little bit, but that's not their main mm -hmm focus would you, and, would you notice that no as well? here's a tip that's a great point here's a tip a lot of the six seven figure earners that i know they're walking around with jogging pants and a t-shirt on flip-flops yes they'll have their hair cut but they might not have on all the name brand designers yeah. because they're going from um, they may be going to check on their employees they may be going to a job site they Investing. don't have, yes they don't have time to necessarily or not even don't have time they don't care to get all dressed up and do everything unless they're going to a meeting or something. But day to day, they're wearing regular shoes, jogging pants, they may be on a golf course. They're just out here living their life. So ladies, let me just give you a little tip. And I go into way more detail in our Feminine Energy Academy mm. for dating and marriage. But typically, because what happens is, when you're in your masculine energy, you are going after a guy based on how he looks. Mm. And that's actually a sign that you are wounded, babe. So if you're going after a guy just based on how he looks, that means you are wounded in your masculine energy. And that's why you end up attracting men mm. that end up needing to be taken care of mm. because they're into their looks. No, babe, we are into our looks. That's the feminine's role is to be into our looks. So if you're going after a guy and he is like, all focused on how he looks and you know every hair needs to be slicked yes. and perfect and you know he needs to be in, in name brand clothes yes. and all this stuff but he hasn't actually done anything he hasn't built a nest mm. for for his future wife and his future family that's how we end up in these situations with charismatic guys that are actually needing to be taken care of so ladies don't go based on how a man looks how i teach my girls is you need to 1000 percent decide in your energy first of all that there's more than enough guys yes. out there that want to date and marry you and be yes. a bonus dad or be a future dad but if you do not believe that we get what we expect so if you think there's not enough a certain type of man that you want out there you're not gonna be able to find him okay and what i was going to say earlier is the type of guys that brian is talking about and they're not out there broadcasting their no, money no they're not out there That's so true. like because they're also guarded they're, yeah. you know they're not sure if that person is just coming after them for yes. their money or do they want to actually build a genuine family yes. marriage and relationship with them 
it takes a bit of time to, to discern that. Yes. But the most important thing that I want you to catch, ladies, is that you're deciding in your energy that there's more than enough guys. Okay? And you have literally the entire globe at your oyster. Is that, is that how you say it? Um, you have the entire world at your... At your fingertips. Okay? And, yes. and just adding to that, yes. a lot of these provider men, if you're looking online, they may only have a picture or two up. I know a few of them. They don't even have pictures up of themselves, right? They have 50 followers. They're following yes. 100 people. So it's not only just those that are out there broadcasting and, you know, they're always at the, they're at the, all the parties, you know, they're posting everywhere. Those yes. aren't generally the ones, based on my no. experience. No, they want to be seen. Yes. They're, they're more the than men, feminine. The men that I know, based on my experience, mm -hmm. are busy, out, moving around, mm -hmm. don't really have time to do much on social media. They may, you know, jump on and, you know, look at something that's involved in a stock market and sports. Or, or if it's tied to their clients. Yes. Just really know that it's not just what it looks like on the outside when deciding is this guy a provider type guy? Does this guy have the type of business mm -hmm. that you may want to be a part of eventually? But those guys are really what I would call incognito. <laughs> yeah, they definitely are. And that has been my experience. It's always the men that you least expect that are actually in their provider energy that actually want to take care of you. I'm not just talking about financially, but and like provide the type of life you've always yes. dreamed, but they're emotionally caring about you. Like this man, I'm going to break on you for a second, baby, but right is always, always checking out is she good? Does she need anything? Do the kids need anything? He's thinking about stuff that I'm not thinking about. He's thinking ahead. He's making sure, you know, we protect our couple bubble, you know, like everything I asked for before, like when we were dating, before we were married, he was already showing signs of that. He did not care about how he looked. Like I had to help him make sure, you know, like he was clean cut, you know, he, his shoes were clean. Right. He made sure he was shaved yeah. and he was clean, but that's it. And that's yeah. all I care about. Okay. You do not need a man that's all done up. Okay. Yes. So number two block that I see so many women run into that's stopping you in dating and even in marriage just carries mm. into that is you're guarded. Mm. You're super guarded in your energy, babe. It's like you want the husband, you want to date, but you're so guarded. Yes. And I'm going to explain to you why that happens so you can feel better about yourself. Mm. Okay. Because us women, we can really beat ourselves up and then we hide and then we get into the shame cycle. And what happens is the reason why you're feeling that, babe, is in your nervous system, when you haven't dealt with and really healed your past pain from relationships, from daddy issues, from even like business losses, like you've just been burned. It could be divorce. It could be maybe just dealing with the wrong guys, babe. And I know you didn't mean to get yourself in those situations, but what happens is we feel the shame of that and shame is the number mm. one thing that will dysregulate your nervous system and that's something i wish i would have known to be honest with you but i couldn't articulate it which is why i love helping you ladies yes. because what happens is is like you like you feel like oh my gosh i'm so smart i shouldn't have got myself mm. in this situation oh. with this guy right and then or like again <laughs> in business and in relationships right why can't i get myself to just eat differently or work out or feel better in my body, right? So a dysregulated nervous system is when you know what you're supposed to do or you think you're supposed to do, but it's like you can't get yourself to do it. And so there's a lot of avoidance there. Yes. There's a lot of procrastination that happens. And what I've noticed working with so many women, especially the successful ladies, like how I am and was, you know, the professionals, the business owners, the doctors, the lawyers, lots of real estate ladies is because we're so good at other things we stay busy doing other stuff and we don't address that root issue that's mm -hmm. causing that nervous system dysregulation and so we still stay in those same energetic patterns and then we're just like screw it right mm -hmm. i'm just going to stay busy building my business or i'm going to go you know deal with this guy because it's easy it's familiar mm -hmm. even though it's not what you really want right and then you're super guarded. You don't want to put yourself out there and open up energetically yeah. to meet the actual type of guy you want, the healthy masculine energy provider type men. But when you're guarded, babe, when you are guarded in mm -hmm. your energy, 
They can smell it from a mile away. They can sense it from a mile away. And that's actually what's stopping them from approaching you. Because the guarded, don't come my way, you know, resting, be face. Yes. All of that we see before we come to you, right? So we're looking, before we even approach you, we're looking at how you move, how you communicate. It may be if we see you in a setting, we may just look at you for a couple of minutes. If we work with you, if we see you all the time, it's something that we're taking note of. And it's not that guys are intimidated. No, by they're, you. Not, they're not intimidated. No, it's not that we're intimidated, but it's more do we want to deal with it? And mm. we think about how much effort it takes to deal with you when we see those signs. And we just make a business decision like, she's nice looking. You know, she has a lot going on for herself, but I just don't want to deal with all of that guardedness. I don't want to deal with, you know, everything that comes with it. So I'd rather get someone who may not be as attractive, but it's easier to deal with. And, mm -hmm. and we can have a peaceful relationship. Right. So that's really how we're looking at things when we're looking at the demeanor of a woman who may be guarded because it shows. I don't care yeah. how much you try to hold back or yeah. smile. It shows when you're guarded and in that place in your life. Or maybe you're super warm and friendly at the beginning, but then one trigger happens yeah. and then the wall is up or you're reactive mm. as a woman. Men, that'll turn them off so fast. Yes. If you're super triggered easily in your nervous system or you're combative yes. or you're just feeling super insecure and wanting yes. to control anything like that, you're commanding, you're, you're just reactive, right? And, and I understand this, babe, because this is stuff I've had to heal myself and I help other women heal, right? And what happens is that's what keeps you stuck in that shame cycle. So we gotta heal that off yeah. you, heal that out of your nervous system so you actually feel safe to receive the husband that God has for you. So ladies, number three is you have to feel so good in your body. I see this one thing stop women all of the time where they want to date, they want to improve their marriage, they want to feel good, they want to feel confident, but you don't feel good in your body. This will stop you every single time. And it's crazy because I've helped so many women just feel better in their hormones, feel better in their nervous system, feel better in their energy, and it's like an instant shift. They're, mm. they're blown away at how quickly men start coming up to them. Like I remember this one girl, she's in our community, one of our programs, she's like, I had to count one day how many times guys kept coming up to me. Yeah. Like just it was, the shift was so quickly because here's the thing I want you to catch ladies. It does not matter how old or how young you are. Men fall in love with you based on how you see you, not just men, but how people see you is how you see you. So that is one of the biggest things I help women shift in their energy. And it reminds me of the one lady. I remember we were taking the flight and oh, the, yeah. yeah, the flight attendant, just so much energy. May have been um, a lady in her mid fifties. Looked oh, yeah. like she might have been a yes. grandma, but her yes. energy was infectious. People, even even the kids, were just talking to her. Yes, right. So that energy, I mean, of course we like looks, but when that that energy supersedes, and it, it allows you to really want to be around that person. That was such a perfect example. And I was like, Brian, this is a perfect example of feminine yes. energy because this lady was probably late 50s, maybe yes. even early 60s. She had her wrinkles. She didn't have Botox, mm -hmm. nothing. She had short hair, but she lit up the whole yes airplane all eyes were on her because yeah. she was just glowing she had everybody's attention because she was just so full of joy yeah. she was light in her spirit she was super magnetic so that's what we teach our girls yeah. how to do with their magnetic feminine energy not only in dating and in marriage because you want to continue that marriage ladies but also in business speaking of which if you want help ladies with this anything we talked about you want help we actually have 15 ways to meet healthy provider masculine energy men offline and 10 ways to meet and 10 different places to meet uh, healthy masculine energy men online i also coach you on how to spot the provider energy men because from my experience those are the least obvious men they're the men that are not yelling and they're not looking for a bunch of attention so they're kind of hard to find but i give you some tips on how to find them and not only that but how to actually communicate with them and influence men i'm in the community as well yes so we have a man answer section any questions you may have feel free to just drop it once you get into the community yeah. drop those questions in the dm drop them on the on the board 
and I'll answer those for you and just give you those clues, those little tips that you need to just get through certain situations that you may have. We are on a mission to help our ladies feel good, not only in their body and in their hormones and in their nervous system again, but also to really attract love back into their life and actually maintain healthy relationships while you're killing it in business and all the other things that you wanna do, babe, because that is your divine birthright and we love you. See you ladies. <laughs>